Today, we're going to talk about computer-based problem solving. Computer-based problem solving. This is basically about using computer to solve problems for us. Now we already looked at the general problem solving steps, so now we're going to look at the computer based problem solving steps. Okay? And the first one would be to define the problem. The problem should be clear and concise. And it should have only one meaning. The next step would be to propose and evaluate solutions. In this step, we're going to come up with different solutions and determine the pros and cons of each. Step 3. Determine the most efficient solution. To figure out which of the proposed solutions would lead to the problem being solved. So after we came up with a number of solutions in step 2, we pick from those solutions and see which one would be the most efficient. Okay? Then step four develop and represent the algorithm. In this step you will determine the sequence of precise instructions which would result in the solution. And for step 5, in the last step, you will test and validate your solution. Now this is to ensure that the solution <coughs> is fully tested so that it produces the current result. So after you have developed the algorithm, you're going to now look at your solution, look at the result that you got, and ensure that it is the correct one, ensure that the problem was actually solved. Okay? Now, we're going to look at, look at this word from it. Algorithm. What's an algorithm? Let me put it on this slide. Algorithm. Now, simply put, an algorithm is a procedure or formula for solving a particular problem. So, a procedure or formula for solving. A particular not an algorithm has five main characteristics, and we're going to look at them. Look at them right now. So the characteristics, characteristics. That's well correct. Hope so. Characteristics of an algorithm. And the first one, the steps must be precise. Second, it must be unambiguous. Basically, it is saying that it should have one meaning and one meaning only. 
All right. That's what that's for each step. You should only have one meaning and one meaning only. Next characteristic must terminate after after a finite number of steps. Very important. Four. The instruction must be in a logical sequence. The instructions must be in a logical sequence. This is where flow control comes in. It must flow from one process to the next. And the last step must lead to an output. Okay? Now this is very important. This is how you're going to know if the problem was actually solved based on the output that you get. Okay? Now the next thing we're going to look at is variables and constants. So we'll look at that in the next video.